Due Process is a delightfully goofy tactical shooter built on three pillars. Asymmetry, randomized maps, and an economy. The attacking team has 150 health and total immunity to their own flashbangs. They hit hard and fast. They breach with shotguns and explosives and defuse a bomb. Defenders have 100 health, but powerful weapons. They need to be sneaky and anticipate the attacker's plans. Attackers need to be aggressive. Use flashbangs to clear rooms as you enter them. Stagger the flashes into the building and try to route a clean path to the bomb site. Attackers can use their precious wall charge and frag grenades to clear a way through or around barbed wire. Defenders need to be ready for all the flashbangs heading their way. Long range crossfires with an assisting player nearby, who has a powerful close range weapon, is ideal. Make sure that no crossfire can be shut down with a single flashbang, and ensure that barbed wire and molotov placement are effective. The maps in due process are randomly generated. That means no map knowledge. You'll need to make strategies on the fly, not memorize layouts. Each map is based on a tile set. Here's Convenience Store as an example. Convenience Store has thick concrete walls, a wide open storefront area, and lots of smaller rooms surrounding it. How these are arranged, their sizes, their placement of doorways, is all part of the procedural map generation. Learn the tile sets, not the maps. Every map has one free entrance and at least two other entrances that might require explosives. Attackers can plan out their best course of action, and defenders anticipate it. If defenders try to leave the building, a UAV will zap them immediately. Likewise, once the doors of the Argus truck are open, all bets are off. Watch for windows and open doors. Defenders will do almost anything to get some easy damage in. Items you take on one round and lose or consume are going to be missing from the next round. Teams swap sides after three rounds. You'll have to avoid taking too much equipment until the final round, where you should buy out and take as much as you can carry. Some items are high value, and you should carry them between rounds, like the clacker, which activates explosives. Three clacks to boom. Grab an appropriate weapon for your chosen strategy. Load it, and wait for the animation to finish. Make sure the gun is fully engaged, or racked before deploying. If your gun says rack, click the fire button. Grab some extra ammo, get ready for execution, and enjoy one of the most intuitive and nuanced multiplayer games out there. If you're looking to learn all the ins and outs of the games, check out the episodes in the beginner series following this one. Go in. Actually, we just used the charge and we lost. Let's go club. Okay, and then someone else watches Bob Wire here. Wait, did they use MVGs last round? Yes. Can we cut off power on their ass? Sure. Who opened the teller door? I did. Nah, but they. Let's go. Nice. <laughs>